Well, this is an this is a pleasant opening shot, eh? Alpaca beans. So, if you don't know, the alpacas generally will drop their beans and their pee in a single bathroom place. Here's one. It's somewhat true and somewhat a myth, especially with women. The female alpacas are a bit more messy. So here's one of the bathrooms and... Uh, ah! Here's another bathroom. They are not particularly good aimers here in this pasture. See, for instance, you missed someone and somebody else missed. Which one of you guys missed? They're very uh, sloppy up here for some reason. Here, already cleaned. Already cleaned. And it's uh, about 5.30 here and they're hanging out in the shade. They will be sheared next week, so we think. Weather permitting, my skills at building restraints for the shearing also factor in to the date. Yuki asked me not to film her while she was relieving herself, so I didn't. I respected your wishes, Yuki. All right, here's another bathroom, just about 10 meters away from the others I showed you. Here, the aim is much better. And they have another bathroom here too, just three meters to the right. It's empty, but here, here, so communal toilets, yes, sort of. For five adult females, two young adult females, usually two to two and a half buckets of alpaca beans, which, here's another bathroom, which in the winter I would add water to some of this, let it sit for a couple of days and then use it as a fertilizer. The reason being, let's take a look. All right, here is a, a bathroom, a communal bathroom. Notice there, How rich and strong that grass and group of weeds are just on the edge of this bathroom. You will see this in almost every one of their bathrooms that the edges are lush, crazy lush meaning one thing or two things or more. One thing it means is that this is great fertilizer. Two, it shows me that our soil is mediocre at best because with a little bit of, uh, or a lot, <laughs> of alpaca excre 
excrement, excretions, poop and pee. Um, the grass goes crazy. It's beautiful. In the other pastures, it's even dark green compared to the rest of the pasture. So, in the winter especially, I will leave a quarter bucket or less of beans, fill it full of water, let it sit for a couple of days, and then throw it in some of the uh, more bold spots in the pasture. 